Hi there, it's Darnell with Weight Loving Recipes. And Amazon had a private event, no streaming video, where they introduced some new products. One of which is a microwave combination air fryer, combination convection type oven. And it's got Alexa built in also and some other smart features. So I wanted to introduce you to it and show you basically a you know a little look at it and some of the features and what it can do for what we know so far from Amazon this won't be actually released until November and it's pretty interesting the timing because if you saw my Breville Combi Way video you know that they announced a similar product just a little earlier and so maybe the folks at Breville knew this was coming but let's see what Amazon has on tap right now all right so here's Amazon's new smart oven as I mentioned, it was a private event, so basically this page gives us pretty much all the information that we have. As it mentions, this item will be released on November 14th, 2019. You can do your pre-ordering now, though, and if there's any uh, possible referral link, I'll put that in the video description. You pay the same price, but you'll help this channel. But basically, it says, introducing Amazon Smart Oven, a certified for humans device, 4-in-1 convection oven, microwave, air fryer, and food warmer, plus the Echo Dot. And so let's go through some of the pictures. You see the uh, smart oven here with the Echo Dot. And uh, well, sorry if it's not showing up too well when I do the big, big picture of it. But here you can see it, you know, kind of a side view. And here you see someone can, you know, tell the assistant to air fry the french fries and I guess the assistant knows what to do and it talks about you know when your oven is preheated the assistant can let you know when your oven's preheated and here you see that someone is in a different room they're not in the kitchen with the dot they are in another room and the Alexa well sorry if I triggered your smart speaker but the assistant system is uh, basically telling them through its network through another one of its devices that the ovens preheated so this kind of isn't isolated to that one dot as far as its functionality apparently you can and here's something is interesting and decent you can scan packages of food that you're going to cook so you can scan a package and it should know how to cook it so that's pretty interesting there so let's do a big screen on that one and here you know it talks about you can tell it to pop your popcorn so some pretty interesting features there and as they mentioned it's a four-in-one and certified for humans meaning that they tried to make it easy to use it has 30 plus built-in presets and it can basically give you announcements as we saw you know when the food is preheated the food is done you can check the temperature it has a temperature probe so that you can cook food the way you like it i'm thinking that even though it has a temperature probe if that probe is metal, you obviously wouldn't use that while the microwave feature is running. That would be a bit of a problem. So, if say for a space, it's large enough to cook a five pound chicken. So that's a pretty nice sized uh, device there to be able to cook a whole five pound chicken in. Let's scroll down a little bit and get another view of it. And of course they mentioned that it has the convection oven, microwave, air fryer, and keep warm. And so down here we see what the timing and the internal temperature, well, different temperature type sensors. It says it has internal temperature, humidity sensors, plus detachable temperature probe to make sure food is cooked the way you like it. And there's also, and this is something that's not in the Breville Combi Wave, that's a combination microwave convection oven and air fryer. Amazon has a trim kit so that you can get that built-in look. I haven't seen from um, Amazon's got the trim kit. I haven't seen Breville mention a trim kit for the Breville Combi Wave three and one to uh, be able to mount it kind of like this. But you can mount this Amazon smart oven in your kitchen, you know, up on the wall using that trim kit. That's pretty sweet. And of course there's the defrost and it looks like they're starting um well from defrost to done you can use the app to scan and cook foods and it looks like they're starting out with their 
you know, their brand of foods, mostly Whole Foods. Their 365 is the like Whole Foods generic brand. But it looks like they've also got Marie, Marie Callender's on board and Gardein is also on board. And they're showing, you know, hey, we actually had humans, you know, work through this thing. And I guess maybe those are the good folks who did a lot of the work in making it ready for humans. And they show that it's simple to set up and use. You can plug in the smart oven, connect to the app, and, you know, get started cooking. Then they give a comparison with some other ovens. They don't have the uh, Breville Combi Wave here in their comparisons. That's not yet released either. It seems like these are both the Combi Wave and the Amazon Smart Oven are going to be coming out right around the same time. Um, here are the technical details. You can choose from the four modes they mentioned, of course. But you can see that top to bottom, it's supposed to be 13 inches. That's, uh, you know, a pretty, you know, just a little over a foot, not very not very tall so you know be able to probably fit it in a lot of spaces 21.8 inches long you see here and then 21.4 inches in the direction here that gives you a you know it's a pretty lengthy back front to back um, length there and so here we go into the actual full spec this smart oven weighs 45 pounds so wherever you put it it's probably going to stay put. You're not going to probably be moving this around a lot because, you know, pretty heavy at 45 pounds. You're not going to be like swapping this with something else. If you get this, you know, that's going to be it wherever it sets. It's not going to be getting moved out of the way by anything else unless you like moving some heavyweight appliances. The cavity size is uh, 1.5 cubic feet. The rated power varies depending on what you're using. 1000 watt microwave, 1400 watt convection oven. I will say for 1400 watts on a convection oven, that's a little uh, a little low. Convection ovens can usually go 1500, uh, 1800 watts, so a little a little low there. I would think because they're not saying what the air fryer functionality is, so I'm assuming that's part of the 1400 watt convection. So just a, a tad low there, I would say on the wattage for the convection cook power which means that it's probably going to have to cook things a little longer than some other dedicated convection ovens and air fryer type cookers that have a higher rated uh, power wattage 1100 watt warming element for their keep warm they're really i guess bragging about how this can keep food warm which is interesting power levels has 10 microwave power levels has wi-fi connectivity so a true smart oven connecting to Wi-Fi. System requirements, you have to have their assistant with Fire OS, Android, or iOS devices. A list of supported operating systems can also be found through uh, this link they have. And Echo device needed for hands-free controls. Now, they mentioned the uh, Echo Dot. I guess they're going to give you an Echo Dot with this device because it, you know, they say plus echo dot, so they're going to give you a dot to start out. Now, as far as other parts of the spec, they have a warranty and service warranty, so one year limited warranty, optional two year, three year extended warranty available to US customers sold separately. And basically they have a, uh, for setup technology, the Amazon Wi-Fi setup enables customers to connect Smart devices to their Wi-Fi network in a few easy steps. Wi-Fi setup simple. In a, another way, Amazon is always getting smarter. So, uh, well, actually, they said the they didn't say Amazon. They said their assistant name, which I won't say. Included in the box is the smart oven, a glass tray, a support ring, tall and short cooking racks, air fry pan, temperature probe, the user manual and quick start guide and then they have accessibility information here let's see if there's anything under the user manual let's see if we can get a look into the actual manual and so this is the actual manual 36 pages of manual and here we see basically the here we see under specifications some more information about it you have the 120 volts 60 hertz 
the rated input power is actually 1600 watts so the total in rated input power is 1600 watts as I mentioned that 1000 watt microwave convection oven 1400 keep warm is 1300 so let's scroll through here and you have the contents see if we'll see if we see anything else interesting in this uh, manual to look at but you have the different cooking modes here so the air fry basically the different modes and this is uh, something with these combination cookers depending on the mode you have to use certain devices inside of them they recommend certain devices so like air fry they're going to recommend a tall rack because that's going to get you up to the basically the air fryer element closer to the air fry element convection they're recommending the tall rack and the temperature probe you know they mention whether it's optional or do not use depending on the cook type if you're keeping warm use the short rack auto roast is short or tall now microwave you can't use the rack this rack is probably metal so do not use the rack with the microwave you don't use the air fry tray with the uh, microwave and you don't use the temperature probe you can't use any of the metal and then they have you know for defrost reheat preset cook the different options there and then they talk about materials that you can use when using the microwave you can use things like a browning dish or dinnerware glass jars gas glassware the thing that you things you usually would use in a microwave not things that are uh, metal obviously and then they talk about things to avoid with a microwave I'm sure you you better know how to use a microwave by now what you shouldn't put in a microwave if you don't you better read that <laughs> Then there's some more warnings here about what to use and when. Now this is the only view that we get inside. They don't have any pictures of the inside. So this uh, kind of basically SketchUp gives us a look inside of the smart oven. And so you see the different uh, parts inside here and how those are set up. It looks like basically a, base, a microwave kind of turntable glass turntable bottom that you usually expect from a microwave and then you would just put your tray on top of that when you're air frying and such and then they give their countertop installation type of information how to connect to their uh, assistant app then they talk about basically how to use the uh, keypad and microwave and talk about how to use the different options like default and such you can do your microwave voice presets and so it's just like the oven supports many microwave presets through voice including popcorn potato reheat coffee and others for example to cook one potato weight eight ounces you can say uh, the assistant name microwave one potato and so you know it has different options there for cooking food by voice that's pretty interesting it has a child lock you know you don't want your kids uh, to get you know messed up with this cooker then they talk about the convection baking type mode in here in this sketch you see they have kind of the raised rack with a pan on it that you can use for cooking as a convection oven cooker and also for air frying similar type of setup then they have uh, auto roasting type features where you can tell the assistant roast a whole chicken and I guess it would get right into roasting a whole chicken for you and then they have the scan to cook feature that they talked about they don't say a whole lot about it here but you can open the assistance app select the cooking group and on the smart oven item choose to choose the scan to cook link and so you would uh, follow the instructions on the scan to scan your item and prepare the food as directed and place the food in the oven and then you press a uh, start button and basically it'll start cooking for you and then it talks about visiting their website for a complete list of items that you can use with scan cook okay so I went to that page amazon.com slash help slash smart oven and apparently it's not ready yet they don't have anything there at this point in time so they don't have information for us to see all the foods that you can uh, the complete list that you can scan with that they mentioned you can't do that yet but, but basically that's about it you know this goes into cleaning and maintenance resetting the oven other types of 
general general stuff for usage and then there's you know more about the device settings and whatnot but I think that's it once you get into like troubleshooting you're basically at the end of your manual so that's all that we can gather at this point and know about this cooker so that's Amazon's new smart oven and it's got a lot of interesting new features going on there um, you know I guess I'm more of a Google Home type person so I don't have the uh, Amazon Echo here so I think for you who are really into the Alexa products and sorry if I'm triggering any of your speakers by saying that but if you're into those types of products then you know this is probably going to be a pretty good option for you as far as uh, smart ovens go if you want something that's a combination device and so this is some pretty interesting stuff especially with Breville having introduced their combi wave that does a lot of similar things the only difference seems to be that I don't see how the Amazon smart oven is going to use a combination of all its features and cooks whereas the Breville combi wave does say that they're going to have cooking features that use a combination of all the features the air fryer the microwave and the convection oven and some of their cooking functions but I don't know if the Amazon smart oven is going to be that smart but we'll see you know what this product is after its release after people get it in their hands and so I definitely hope that you did like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe to the channel be sure to hit the notification bell leave your comments also you can find plenty of recipes for smart ovens and air fryers at superwaveovenrecipes.com and you can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com I'm on Twitter and Instagram also at waveovenrecipes and you can find referral links for cookers in the video description and I wish you all good eating.